are back today with an L4701. This one's a DT, got the gear shift here for us. We decided we needed to paint the barn up. The videos weren't looking that good with the old uh, white faded building, so we got it all painted up. It's uh, 1,485 pounds on the front of the pallet, so that's what, again, that's with forks, pallet, and all the weights. Uh, I'll start out with this, and um, we should get the full height here, and then we'll kind of add up from there. Got it up 7 feet 5 inches all the way to the top on that one. 1,722 pounds. Four feet 11 inches. So that got it up 4 feet 11 inches. Let's see what it'll do. We're up to 1,956 and a half pounds. It's about two feet six inches, two and a half feet. Now we're at 2,189 pounds. One foot two inches. One feet two inches. So we got it a foot off the ground. So enough to, you know, move it around the yard. Um, you're not going to want to do a whole lot of moving around with this much weight on the back. 2,262 and a half pounds. Let's see if this one at least get it off the ground here. Seven and a half inches and the pallet is roughly two inches off the ground. So the is two inches off the ground, the main base seven and a half inches off. Um, you know, it, you could move it around the yard, but I will tell you, even with the weight box, the back end's a little bit light. <laughs> All right, so we swapped out the DT, which is the gear set, to the hydrostatic. A little different tires. I had the R1 tires on it. This is going to have the R4s. We're going to stick with the same weight that we ended on the last one, which is 2262.5, so 2,262.5 pounds. Ten and three quarters of an inch. Ten and three quarters of an inch. So this got it three inches or so uh, more off the ground, and I will tell you, the rear end of the machine feels a little bit more secure, so pretty good. You're going to get a little more capacity with the hydrostatic with the R4 tires. 